customers first. It's customers first. The Jewel policy for behavior at the front end is the same as it is for all Jewel service and management positions. Namely, the customer comes first. Now anybody can say that, but what does it mean at Jewel? Let's start with the F. F stands for friendly. Well, here's a friendly situation. <laughs> See what you think. Hey, what was the name of that place? I can't remember, but uh, they were there together. Together? Hey, you should have sold your kids. Being friendly among yourselves is one thing. Ignoring customers is something else. When you're among friends, uh, being friendly usually begins with some kind of greeting or intro. Whenever a customer moves into your lane, that's your cue to say something. Hi, how you doing today? Hi, how are you? Hi, did you find everything you need today? How do you like this weather? Good morning, would you like a cart? See, that's a nice pin you're wearing. Oh, I see you picked one of my favorites here. Hi, Mrs. Martin, good to see you again. The next point we want to make is react. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Excuse me, I couldn't find the bean sprouts. Could you help me? Bean sprouts? Oh. I don't know where they are. Do you, Steve? Hey, I just bag groceries. Um, it's not part of my job. Look, I, I got a lot of people here. I, mean, I think we're out of them anyways. Come on through. You can go back and get them later. Now, here's the professional way to react to this situation. Excuse me, I couldn't find the bean sprouts. Could you help me? Would you like fresh or canned bean sprouts? Canned. I'll call the grocery department to find out what aisle they're in so you'll know next time you need them. But today I'll have somebody bring them up for you. Thank you. Here's another typical situation. Wait a minute. That's not the sale price. It's supposed to be $249. Oh, no, not again. That's the third time this has happened to me today. I don't know why they can't keep these prices straight. Now you're gonna have to wait until we get all this straightened out. Hey, you service desk, can you get somebody over here? Now, watch how the pros do it. Wait a minute, that's not the sale price. It's supposed to be $249. Let me call to verify the price. It'll just take a minute. Notice she didn't make any commitment before she verified the price. She not only handled the situation correctly, she smiled. That's what the S stands for in first, but it's not always easy. Oh, excuse me, I have a rain check for that cake mix. Terrific. Why didn't you give it to me before I rang it up? Now I gotta go back and make a correction. Huh, I got a better idea. Why don't you save it for the next time, huh? Let's try it again. Excuse me, I have a uh, rain check for that cake mix. Oh, let me see it. No problem, Mrs. Walker. I'll just take off the regular price and key in the rain check price. See, here's the correction in red and the way I rang up the rain check. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You can find something to smile about in almost every situation if you're professional about it. Now, notice how the checker picked up Mrs. Walker's name right off the rain check. This is an excellent opportunity to add that personal touch to each customer. This should also be practiced whenever accepting a check for purchases. Now, how about that customer who unknowingly makes a mistake? Hey, mister, not so fast. What's wrong? You see the sign? So what? Well, see? can you read it? <laughs> You're not allowed in this lane. Hey, it's ten items or less. Let's put the customer first. 
Now here's how to handle it. Excuse me, sir, but did you know that this is a lane for 10 items or less? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Now, I'll check you through. But next time, as a convenience to the people in line behind you, please remember that the express lane is for 10 items or less. Next time, I'll remember. Thank you. Okay, thanks. A smile can help a lot in handling tough customer situations. If handled correctly, customers understand. Sometimes an interruption is necessary to our customers, like uh, when making a shift change or picking up a turn-in. Joan, I've got a turn-in for you. Oh, thanks. Now you're going to have to wait around until we count it up. The best approach is to acknowledge the delay, honestly and politely. Weather, aren't you? Excuse me, Joan. I have oh. a turn in for you. Oh, thanks. Excuse me, but I have to stop for a moment now and do some accounting. It'll just take a minute. I'll get you out of here right away. No problem. You have to be sensitive to our policies and procedures, as well as to the customer's needs. Now we get to our final letter. T, which is for thank you. And here's where you have a heavy responsibility. You're in the best position to end the customer's shopping trip on a positive note. Oh, I'm sorry. Could I please have paper bags? I'm sorry too, lady. I've already bagged them. You want paper bags? Please. Here, you can have them. Let's look at it another way. I'm sorry, sir. Could I please have paper bags? Oh, sure. No problem, ma'am. There you go. And thanks for shopping with us. Thank you very much. Sometimes the game isn't over until it's over. Watch how that service clerk ignores that customer he just finished bagging for. The more she struggles, the less he notices. Hey, once they're bagged, I'm done. Let's try for a slightly more um, professional finish. Excuse me, ma'am. Let me help you. I'll take these bags to your car for you. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. No problem. Just our way of saying thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. Five points. Friendly, intro, react, smile, and thank you. It's customers first. That's the mark of a jewel professional. And that's what sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. Customers first. It's customers first.